Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome if you're new. I am Tracy with the Y and I am going to try to make a quick mesh wreath for a customer. Um, it's Easter, but she says she's had these um, supplies for like three years. So she brought me this tote. So anyways, it says he has risen and then, um, so I kind of pulled some of the colors from it, made one bow. Um, we'll set this here. I have one roll of, I'll probably use these flowers too. So that's kind of the inspiration too. I have one roll of mesh, 21 inch from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to do a jute and then I'm going to do some bright colors in the, for the butterflies. This is a 14 inch um, wire frame from Dollar Tree. I have 12 pipe cleaners on the outside, six pipe cleaners on the inside. And we bump into each one. So I always take my mesh, drop it down. I usually fold it so I have like a kind of a clean edge sort of like this. And I start on the outside ring. Wind that into your first pipe cleaner. And then we do bumps. Now, I do not measure these bumps, I just do them by eye. So if one, I'm not a very good teacher, let's just be honest, I'm not a good teacher. So you do one bump. Wind it into your next pipe cleaner. Then you do your second bump and you're going to do that 12 times all the way around. Let's see? Guessing it's probably about a 12 to 10 inch bump. But it doesn't have to be exact. It just can't be totally off. And I'll show you totally off <laughs> what that looks like. See how these are kind of all the same? Now if I did one like this, that's a no-brainer. I mean, look. It's like probably at least easily way two to three inches way too long. So if you do that, you just untie and go back and just pull it back through your hand. Got to kind of eyeball it. You just want them similar. They don't have to be exact, just similar. And the more you do it, the better you get. And it's definitely a process. First few times I did this, I thought, what in God's name am I doing? It's definitely a process. And you know what? I've even missed a pipe cleaner. And I didn't go, I didn't undo it all the way back. I just, just didn't cut an extra piece of the 10 inch. It's all right. It's not perfection. And this is just the base. Even if it's not perfect, you really don't even see it by the time you get done with your, unless it's way obvious, by the time you get done with your 10 inch butterflies and your, all your ribbons and your bows, it's hardly noticeable. And this is pretty much how I always do a mesh wreath. I always do a 21 inch base and then 10 inch 
uh, butterflies or you can even do a curl. Um, I get in a habit of doing the same thing. I just don't switch. So right here, this is where I started and I folded it in half. And then I took my last, which would, this would be the 12th. He goes into here. And then we are going to take it tight into the center and twine it into a pipe cleaner. And it's gonna be tight and then you're just gonna do your six bumps. Now you could cut it, you could cut it and then just start over like you did on the, on the, um, like you did on the outside. You could do that. I do not. <laughs> you know what, everybody does things a little different too. Used to, this was my, really my only wreath that I ever really did. It was my favorite. I was the mesh queen. <laughs> now I'm the bow queen. But um, I just did mesh and nobody else really did it around in the small town that I live in. So I would sell a good bit of them and I didn't use cheap stuff. So it wasn't like no, and you can use cheap stuff um, when it comes to like wreath frames. I do not recommend um, Dollar Tree ribbon mesh. It's just not very good. When I first started, yeah, I did use it. I did. But I also was only selling a wreath for $30 too. So, but the more you spend on your supplies, you just have to charge more. And I'm, I'm pretty blessed in that I, I really have regulars. I have a lady who buys a wreath almost every month. Um, or there's certain wreaths I make and as soon as I post it, I know who's gonna buy it pretty much because I know it's what they love. So, anyways, but don't use cheap ribbon unless you're practicing. Don't use cheap mesh. I mean, I've used some Dollar Tree flowers. I always use the wreath frames. So, but just from my experience, I don't really like that super generic look. And, and I've said it before, I mix and match ribbon. Sam's Club ribbon is really good ribbon, but it's inexpensive. So I will, use, I will buy more expensive ribbon through Craft Outlet and I will use it as the, um, kind of like the accent, like the star of the show. Um, and that ribbon costs more, so I don't use quite as much. I use it, I put it on the top of the bow, but I don't, I want it to be the focus of it. But I also use the less expensive ribbon as a filler. So anyways, if that makes sense. It kind of helps your cost a little bit, I guess. Okay, so I bumped all the way around. And now I have to take this and go back out on the outside. So I'll make another bump or whatever you want to call it. And then I'm going to tuck it in behind the wreath. My one mentor that I watch he says, and I've said this before too, and this probably gets old, but he says, um, you don't have to put all that stuff on the back of your wreath. You can, you can. I've seen people put placemats on the back of this. It's not necessary. He says, if the front of the, if the wreath is so beautiful, no one cares about what, what the backside looks like. I don't. I can maybe see if you had a glass door, but honestly, people who are coming up to your front door just see the front of the wreath. They ain't seeing the back of the wreath. But to each their own. No judge here. I just don't think it's necessary. 
yet again, you're using more supplies. So the more supplies you use, the more you have to charge for your wreath. So if you can cut cost, that will help you and your customers. Even if it's just a couple dollars, if it's just a couple dollars, well, my one mentor says, charge three times your supplies. I only charge two times in my supplies. But I also live in a small town and not everybody here is rich. So here's the back side of this one. So if I can keep costs down for people, I'm more likely to sell more stuff. If I get into shipping, I could sell on Etsy, which I would probably make four times of what I, I make here down in Southern Ohio. <laughs> My soon-to-be daughter-in-law, she makes the wood signs and then I make her little bows a lot smaller than this. She sold three signs. Was it the first of this week? It was either the first of this week or the end of last week. She sold like three signs in like one day on Etsy. She's very successful on Etsy. I have not been very successful. I, but I don't like to ship wreaths. Like I made, I've made bows and stuff and put on there, but I've never sold one. <laughs> so, but I know it's one of those things. You just have to work at it. Um, you got to get have your cost good. Uh, I don't know. But once she sell, once she started selling, she just sells like crazy now. Okay, so I'm going to do three of the 10 inch mesh and these I'm going to cut about 12 to 14 inches. This one's from Craft Outlet. Craft Outlet. This is either Hobby Lobby or Craft Outlet. So I think let's see how many of these I can get. Because I need um, 18 total because I have 18 pipe cleaners. So I thought if I could get nine of the pinks, I, would, I have plenty of the yellow, I would do um, yeah, nine of the pink, different shades of pink and then I'll kind of alternate them. And that's something else too, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just, I use a lot of ribbons, so a lot of times you wanna see half the stuff I do. I need to quit looking down on my one video. It's like, dude, I'm getting double chance. <laughs> need to get my head up like this. I ain't wanting no double chin, kids. with age. No, actually it comes with with me it comes with gaining weight so when I lose some weight I'll lose it in my face pretty quickly actually. I don't know what about you guys but it depends what diet I'm doing. When I did keto um, the first place I lost weight was my boobs and my belly um, and then about maybe six weeks in I started noticing it in my face. But not really been doing keto. I tried like two, I did went like two weeks without any dessert, which desserts are my weakness for sure. Um, but that was torture. I'm not gonna lie, it was torture for me. Because I'd rather just eat dessert and no food. Like there's Easter candy over there calling my name right now. 
So we got four, six, seven. Okay, so let's go from here and see how it goes. I might need one more of those. Okay, so I like to take the ends and roll them in and then I cinch it in the center and make like a butterfly. can see me. Okay, let's do pale pink or baby pink. Pinch it in the center. I'm back to work now full time. It was so slow today. Oh my gosh. The weather's been not the greatest either. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do choo, 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 choo. I may have to because I have way more yellow than I do of the pinks, I think. Maybe not. We'll alternate for as long as we can and then we'll go from there. And there's no really wrong way, it's just the way I do it. And I missed one. So let me walk over and show you the butterfly. And I just try to tie it into the pipe cleaner as center as possible, and then I'll zhuzh it up a little bit. If that makes sense, see the pipe cleaner in the center? ran after work yesterday. I was both proud of myself. I said it was the longest two miles I've ever done. <laughs> I was just not feeling it. I guess I'm, I told James when I got home, I'm probably more of a, not that I run early, but I usually run when I'm not working. I run like around, probably around 1130, 1230, something like that. So running at six o'clock was not the funnest thing I've done in a while. After being at work all day. And I wasn't really that, I wasn't really busy. I was busier yesterday than I was today. Um, but I gotta do something tonight. Cause after I did it, even though it was really hard, I was running and then I kind of, towards the end I started kind of getting like shin splints. And I describe it as my feet feel like they're cinder blocks. They're just so heavy. I can't hardly even lift them up to run. And um, so I, uh, but I finished and that was the main thing. But after I finished and I came home and I started doing like dinner and things like that, um, I, uh, I just felt so much better, you know? It's like, it's just, it, I just run for like a half hour. It takes me a little less than a half hour to do two miles. And I do run slow. I don't run fast. Um, but I try not to stop running. I try to run the entire time. Unless there's someone, usually a driver won't slow down or let me go by. They, I have to stop and wait for them to go on. Um, but uh, I... I just do it, and like I said, sometimes, like I did it, I think in 28 minutes yesterday, which shocked me because I was struggling. Like I said, my feet felt like I had cinder blocks on them. I just could not hardly lift them. I'm surprised I didn't trip, actually, because whenever your feet feel heavy, I feel like you don't pick your feet up enough and you're more likely to trip. And our sidewalks here in town are not the best, so. Anyways, but I finished it, and I, I need to do something today because I know after I do it, I'll feel so much better. So, we'll see how it goes. But then, I knew 
I had to do some kind of recording. The lady dropped the stuff off to me at the store today, and I was like, well, you know what? Probably could do that when I get home. So, I came home, and I helped James out in the garage. He was doing a couple things, and Grace unloaded the dishwasher for me, so that was really nice. Riley hasn't been feeling good, so he called and asked if I'd bring him some home something to eat. So I did that. And then uh, did that and put laundry away. Fed my dogs. I did it yesterday, but I actually finished it today too. I did it today also. But we had um, some ribeyes from Sands Club, and I was like, James, if we don't use those, they're going to go bad. And you know how expensive food is, dear Lord. But um, anyways, um, so I um, seasoned them. Or I seasoned one. I just did one yesterday. It was a big one, though. I seasoned it um, and put a little bit of Worcestershire and olive oil and uh, seasoned it real good and put it in the... Um, in the air fryer and it actually wasn't real bad I mean it was pretty good I, actually it was better yesterday than it was today so when I got home today I'm like I have to make those other two steaks or they're going to go bad so I did the exact same thing as yesterday and um, put it in the air fryer and that's what Race and I ate and then James is sitting over there for when he get, he's out exercising so here have it, but if you've never had a, a steak in the air fryer, it's, it's pretty good. I was impressed. I love the air fryer, actually. We got a new one from Sam's Club. It cracks me up because it has like the the door the doors that open like um, like on hinges and races. I feel like a baker when I'm using this. I thought that was funny. Does it that open up like this? Like if you bake bread or something, like in a restaurant. Anyways, okay, so I had steak for dinner. And I don't know, I'll probably have something else too because I kind of feel hungry now. Today I just had a high protein slim fast at work. And I had to drink it because about four o'clock I started feeling nauseous because I fast from, I don't normally eat between the hours of, I only eat between the hours of 1 p.m. and 9 p.m. So I do the intermittent fasting, which I've been doing it for two years, um, give or take, like a holiday I will take off or some, a special occasion. But I usually, I do that almost, I'd say, 345 days of the year. I don't, I don't hardly ever break my fast. Um, okay, so there's that. Okay, so let's do... So I'm, I'm centering my pipe cleaner in the back. So this is how they will hang it if they want to. If they don't want to hang it, then that's, uh, that's how I'll display it to take photos. And I feel like I say that every single time. But I'll show you what I did. So this is how they, they'll hang it. Now some people will put a placemat here will attach it so to help protect against scratching anything. I don't do that. I don't feel it's necessary. But never mind. Okay. So we have our bow and I'll show you my examples. All of this is Sam's Club except for this one. 
And this is an expensive ribbon from Craft Outlet. It's textured, it's gorgeous. Um, so that's my, um, the star of the show in this bow. around the wire frame, give her a couple twists so she won't go nowhere. And then we're going to cut our ribbon tails to put in the pipe cleaners. I always zhuzh up my bow a little bit when I put it in here. We don't have it use an inch and a half. I do nine of them and I do them every other, but I didn't use an inch and a half. Or not an inch and a half, two and a half inch. So let's see. So the tails I'm gonna cut about 15 inches long. I usually just kind of guess at this. They don't have to be exact. Um, so I'll do that. And if you want, just measure one and just cut. But you need it to be at least probably 15 to 16 inches, roughly on the inch and a half. Now, if I was doing my inch or two and a half inch, I would do it about 14. But you want those skinny ones to be longer, or I do. You do what you want. in each um, pipe cleaner. And then I'm going to glue some flowers in or attempt to. You know every time I try to put flowers in I struggle. I don't really like flowers that well in or stems in a mesh wreath. I don't know why. I love them in a grapevine but not necessarily a mesh. It's better to cut your ribbon a little bit longer because you can trim it up. If you cut it too short, it won't look right. So get at least 15 to 16 inches long. And I'm kind of eyeballing it. All right, I don't know if that's enough, but you know what? If it's not, we can always cut more. If we have extra, we can add extra. Not a big deal. So what I'll do and I just kind of mess around. I just kind of alternate them a little bit and I try to line them up. Now if one's longer, put it on the bottom. And then fold it in half. 
and that's what you put in your pipe cleaners that you put your butterflies in, the 10, 10 inch mesh. And of course, when you, I always hang it up over here so you guys can see that I always move it around and adjust it a little bit. And I'm loving hot pink and orange together. One of my um, coworkers, uh, Leah, she, uh, both, well, all my coworkers are college girls, college age girls. And she, um, she plays softball in college, so she's really good. She's a pitcher, too. Anyways, I work with wonderful girls. I really do. Funny, sweet, read their Bible, just all around good, good, good people. So, anyways, but she, point of my story, she did her dorm room in um, a hot pink, or orange and hot pink different shades of pink I believe I think it was definitely orange and hot pink anyways um so I made before she left I made her a couple bows to match her bedroom um it was really cute but I didn't realize how much I liked because originally I thought orange and pink ugh but ever since I've done those bows for her I've loved it matter of fact my um well you saw my mailbox bug it's got the orange and hot pink and um, the pretty colors, blues, all spring stuff in it. But that's where I got these colors from because I wouldn't really think to do those colors together. But this ribbon here has the, that's almost red, the orange, pink, yellow, yellow. Anyways, I'm excited for the young girls to come back to work. They make me feel young. So, yeah. Yes? What's the matter? You're hungry? I made steak in the air fryer. These two seem really long, so I may trim those if I can't curl them up enough.
front seam longer, so I did it on the inside, so it can almost be like a longer tail versus hanging off the edge. weather was crazy here today. It was sunny and fine, then it was rain, then it was sunny again, and rainbow came out, and it got cold, and then it like sleeted and snowed. Like people had on Facebook coming out to their cars and they have like snow on it. <laughs> All in one day. You guys hear Patches? being quiet to eat. She wants a bite of James's dinner. Actually, she probably don't want a bite. She just wants to sit beside him. I just don't think she can sit. She has to sit on a chair. She doesn't sit on the floor. She's a, a human. She has to be in a chair. you because I'll have to go put a, uh, a hook on the sign so I can hang it. There's no hook on it. And then we'll plug the hot glue gun in and glue some flowers. We have two of the ribbon tails in each pipe cleaner. And this is what it looks like so far. Alright, so I need to put 
need to work on the sign and I'll show you how I did that after I'm done. So I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm back. So let me show you how I did the sign. You must have to be careful because look, it kind of splits. You need to put some hot glue on that to help secure it. But basically, I took a thumbtack to start my hole. Start my hole, use a hammer, tap this in because it's so much easier, and then you just screw in your little eyelet. Or, um, I think they're eyelets. I get my little picture hanging kit from uh, Dollar General. It's like 275 or 475, something like that. Okay, so we're going to hang this up. And I'll adjust the hammer here in a second. So I kind of know where to put the, the sign at. And of course, this is when you would adjust all your ribbon tails. It's pretty high. I'm not going to get there. We're trying. Gigi and Patchy, stop. No fighting. No fighting. Okay. So, I get the top one started. I have a couple zip ties here. We don't want it super tight in there, but we don't want it to be something in either. So we're this here. I'll probably quit doing it this way. Guys, stop. Alright, so we're going to run our zip tie. One might have done it. It might just be one on the bottom. But I'm zip tying it to the metal frame, of course. If I could get through the mesh. This is this is my least favorite thing to do on a reef. Just put a sign in it. I hate sign placement. Um, I think attaching the it's my least favorite, I should say. Thing. It's my least favorite. So if I can get away without putting a sign on it, pretty much I will. <laughs> yeah, I probably could have definitely just done one pipe. Not pipe here. I just impacting it. I said the other day too, my video knows. Zip tie. Not pipe liner. Okay. So go a little over here and make adjustments. Chestnuts. Okay. That's where I want it, so now I'm not going to tighten it too hard because I'll pull those, those little eyelet things out and I don't want to do that. Because this is not really a cheap sign, but it's that cheap wood. I guess it's a cheap sign. I think it says like $4. Okay. It's still kind of loosey goosey. Guys, stop! Patrick just says some guys. It wasn't pretty. And Judy won't leave him alone. Leave her alone. She's not, Judy's not really doing anything to her. She's just going around her. Judy just wants to lick her. Be your, be your girlfriend. Juju just wants a girlfriend. Like, oh, you're old. I'm not Juju, but the girl dogs are old. <laughs> old ladies. Like, uh, uh, Maggie's going 15, and Patches, if I had to guess, was probably 12. We rescued Patches, but that's a dog. We rescued her. We rescued Maggie, too, actually. No, Juju. No, no. You cannot do that. It's about to get x rayed over here, kids. Close your eyes. Juju, stop. I'm just trying to get on. Oh my gosh, I don't have you guys looking at me. I need a, I need a day job. I'm sorry. Stop. 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 Come on. 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 I mean by sign placement. Hey, Patch, stop. She's Dutch, can't hear me. It's all right. Juji, Juji. She's just looking at her. She's not liking it at all. Okay, I did a little bit of what I hate to do because I smashed my bow. Okay. Of course, I don't want real tight because I don't want to sink down in there. And I'm just doing a little bit of adjusting, tweaking a little bit here. I'm going to glue some of these flowers on here. So that's where we're at right now. Mm -hmm. So let this can go up a bit. Judy's <coughs> in full toddler mode, kids. Full toddler mode. Okay, you guys kind of get the, the gist here. I need to get my glue gun. All my things to cut those. Juju, leave Maggie and leave her alone, okay? You guys just, you just mind your own business for a little bit? 
Let me make some room, guys. I'll scoot you back a bit so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Remove this. these and these so i'm gonna work these in somehow somewhere here for sure all right guys i'm back all right the hot glue is hot now we're just going to hopefully you can see i cut the flowers off of the stems and now i'm just gonna glue them in hot glue them in and there's a couple easter eggs too so you can see that and then just put some glue on the and just put these every so often i probably have enough to do every other actually let's work let's work our way this way you also can twine the stem, and the, if you, the pipe cleaner's long enough, you can twine it in there if you want to. And the hot glue sticks really good to this mesh, so not to worry about that. Okay. Just make sure I have another actually. Just I'm putting hot glue on the stem and then sticking it in where the pipe cleaners are. Like that. Okay. Let's do one of these white ones here. They're like a Gerber daisy here. These are a little bit different. I'm gonna do an Easter egg every so often. I'm not sure I really want to tuck this down under. Hopefully you guys make over and check and make sure you can see what I'm doing. So she had these flowers. I don't know if I should, yeah, I did show you the flowers. So the flowers she already had, and like I said, she had this project for a couple years. Just never did it. Her, her mistake was she had the wire frame, like I used for Dollar Tree, but she had bought, instead of buying mesh, like the jute mesh that I have, she had bought tool that real skinny stuff like you make a tutu out of tool or some wedding bows and stuff you can do out of tool but um so when she i think when she attempted it it just didn't look right and it's because it's not thick enough at all let me see if you guys can see i think you can see so i think that's where she made a mistake and after i get all these flowers put in i just go back and i call it the pull test or tug test tug on it and make sure it's dry if it comes out then just put a little more glue on it but uh, the hot glue sticks really good to this mesh mm -hmm. probably too good <laughs> so so i'm just adding the flowers i have here every so often just put an egg Egg. Let's put an egg here. The eggs made out of styrofoam. It's cute. Look at that. Some of the ribbon's not as great as the others, so the less you mess with it, the better off you are. If it frays a little bit, just trim it. And try not to mess with it. Like this pink, the soft pink, probably not the best. It is Sam's Club, though. Okay, so let's do, let's do a pink flower. Let's do a bright pink here. That'll be cute. Okay. The Gerber Daisies are probably my least favorite. And this. something down in there. Okay. Now we'll start doing the tug test. Jerry, get down. Just a little extra hot glue. Now that's hot, Kitty. Don't put your nose on that. You regret that one. So, may I, you girl? Okay. Alright, guys, we're almost done. Kachachi, I just put glue on that. I see. It came off at the end. Oh. Oh. Tell you about it. Okay, good. Watch me burn myself again. I also use a really hot, hot glue gun. 
want to say professional, but I don't know if that's what it is, but it's, it welds your skin real good. I don't know how many blisters I've had from that glue gun. Okay, so you gotta go through and get all your little wispy glue tails away, off. Okay, I think I like it. He's barking outside. Let me just glue that into there, I think. <laughs> Whatever, just kind of winging it here, kids. I don't need to do a whole lot of flowers. I want to glue that one there. I think I want to glue that in there. For sure. Okay. There's one more Gerber Daisy, and I don't want to rip them real close together, so that one there says. Just about done. That's in there good. I think from here. Okay, let's hang it and see what it looks like. Okay. Okay, I'm about to struggle bust up tight. Sideways. I made a gesture about them. Got you down, okay? Huh? Alright. I think this is the final. I'll just leave some eggs in the dollars. When I get off here, I might go back through and a little more daylight, which it stays. Sideways. Okay. Alright, guys, I think that's it. See the eggs and a little bit of flowers. Alright guys, thank you for watching, sharing, liking, subscribing, commenting, all the things. You guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.